Hi, I'm Colleen. Welcome to my channel. You have found our Block of the Month collab. This is a collab with my friend Sylvia, you and me FPP, and Melissa at Practically Creative. And uh, this is my catch up. We did a, we did, they did, because I started very late, an owl block. And they're, they were doing theirs in specific sizes. I'm playing catch up, so I'm just doing mine and whatever I think I can put it in. <laughs> And since Halloween was coming up, my first thought was owl applique, and then I saw stencils for pumpkins, and I was like, I did a wolf silhouette with non sewable heat and bond on a placemat, and I was like, oh, this owl would be so cool if I could figure out how to get the wings to look feather like feathery. And I can tell you that I regret cutting it out like this. I should have done a little bit straighter with the wings, but I didn't know what I was going to do at the time, so I thought I was going to be finicky and go around each wing with a satin stitch, a zigzag stitch. I don't know if I mentioned the Heat and Bond Light is double-sided fusible, sewable. And I'm going to start buying it by the yard. I found a place that sells it online. You know, I like small businesses. And I found some over at Halo. At the time of this voiceover, they were sold out. But it was still on their site. So that looks like they're getting more at some point. <laughs> I could have cut out a whole bunch of this finicky cutting. by deciding what I was going, what stitch I was going to use to applique it. I think Heat and Bond Light double sided fusible is like a miracle. <laughs> see it peels off and you can see the side is glossy where it's stuck and then you just iron it down. I do wish in hindsight also that I had made the background block for this a little bit bigger. Lost a couple tips of my wings when I put it in the design that I had. That's okay. It happens. Flying by a seat in your pants does not always work out. <laughs> this is number 59 on my brother machine. And it is, it looks like a double backwards kind of C. And I just started moving my fabric to the left and to the right to make it kind of move with the cutout that I did. And then I changed to a straight zigzag, a tight zigzag stitch, which would be a 0.5 and usually a 3.5 width is what I use. I tried this before I did it. I'm using a Missouri Star ivory thread in the top spool. And my, honestly, I don't know if I changed a 60 weight thread in the bottom spool. I was supposed to. I don't know that I did. I have used my just polyester 40 weight in the bottom bobbin spool. Bobbin spool. Yeah, okay. As I was doing this, I was like, wow, it's working. It's working. <laughs> I'm still new enough. I get excited over these little things. I know things should work as intended, but by the time I get my hands on them, <laughs> they just don't.
if applique and embroidery stitches make them nervous, they didn't eat. I watched my friend Melissa at Practically Creative do these a lot on her channel, this type of thing. And I also watched Lisa Cabin. And I love Lisa Cabin too. <laughs> she is so encouraging and positive. And if you haven't found her channel yet, the name escapes me. It was Lisa Capen, but she's got a cute name. Anyway, I, I'll put it in here somewhere. Underneath in the links in the first comment, you know, I don't care. <laughs> I don't mind sharing. This was a fast, simple block to do. And I'm gonna tell you, it's going to look stunning, at least to me, in the little thing that I put it in. Please check out you and me FPP and Practically Creative here on YouTube and see what they did for their block of the month. And that'll do it for the February block of the month coming to you in September or October. <laughs> Be the light you hope to see in others. Take care. Have a great week.